Alright. Yeah, I decided to do it because then all I had to do is the Survivor Series re- uh, podcast uh, with the Sheriff. So, I've decided to go ahead and do that uh, Week 11 Aftermath now. Uh, so, let me further explain my uh, situation with Queen Alec. Um, the reason why I called her alias name is because uh, she works here and... Um, Got to keep things under wraps, so I don't don't want her to get any trouble. So that's why the names are protect. The name is protected to protect the innocent, and she is innocent. Well, hey, finally, at least finally, I'll get to have uh, a brand new wife after all these years of so long of being a widower. I don't want to be this because something happened to Queen Elect. I'm done. I, 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 I'm saving up money to go to Galveston. I was like, I did tell them at the time that I was going to try to stay here for a while. But if something happens to Queen Elect, then I'll bet they're off. I'm saving money till I go to, uh, go back to Galveston. Yeah. And it'll be the same rent that I paid here. But, uh, you know. And then I'll be even more depressed because I'll be right back to the struggling. So... But, uh, again, I'm only going to say the name once, and then I'm going to say this till people get used to me saying the Queen-Elect and not saying who the Queen-Elect is, but, uh, her name is, uh, uh, her alias name is Janet. Again, her alias name is Janet. And from now on, when I talk about Queen-Elect, I'm going to go, going to refer her as Queen-Elect. And if you don't know, now you know, now you know, now you know. Anyway, <laughs> Uh, it feels like winter instead of fall. Oh, my God. And then just like after Monday, it wanted to feel like a little bit of touch of summer, 80 degrees. My body's been going on roller coaster. My allergies been kicking my tail. Yeah, really be kicking my tail. So I'm going to go ahead and do the NFL pickup for uh, week 11, which is the aftermath. Uh, I think that was... My, yeah, the week after my birthday. And, yeah, because it started November the 16th on on week 11. So, it's time for week 11, the aftermath. Right here on the Bay D Zone, deep in the heart of Texas. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I was thinking about a funny, um, Mr. Big song that I heard, but, uh, I couldn't even think about that, but, yeah, yeah, it's called Busted, but I couldn't think of, uh, can think of a word that I can make with this, but, anyway, <laughs> anyway, anywho, um, don't worry, YouTube, I'm not gonna sing it, don't worry, don't copyright my daggone video, I don't know what, I don't know what the heck that you try to prove when, uh, uh, not giving, uh, not giving Chief Justice time to, uh, more time to do video when he already, you know, he's already had a, a terrible situation and and then he's trying to relax by doing videos or going to video uh, bowling and then you're trying to take that away from him and I don't know what you're doing, you two. So don't worry, I'm not going to sing that Busted song that I like from uh, Mr. Biggs. I'm not going to sing it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Only if I could have thought of my own version. But anyway. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, what's up with that, YouTube? What's up with that? Anyway, Thursday game. Uh, the final score is 20 to 34. You want to know who won that affair? I'll answer that question. Don't answer that. That's a rhetorical question. If the Ravens, that's who, Ravens beat the, uh, the Bengals 34-20, and it was a double down, and I won that one. So that's one one game. Okay, now here's all the Sunday's games. So bear with me. Here we go. Get it, Bear. And the Bears are on the next two games. <laughs> Holy cow. Anyway, uh, the Steelers versus the Browns. And I think that was a double down. But here's the catch. Somebody had lucky 13. Someone only had 10. It's the Cleveland Browns. That's right. Cleveland Brown had lucky 13. It was lucky for them. And the Steelers only had 10. And I won the next game. So it's two two wins already. Pretty, they were pretty good for week 11. All right. 
Dolphins versus Raiders. It was, uh, I think... Did I think it was a double down? I think I did. But anyway, it's so confusing after everything that's been going on here in the Second Palace and all like that. And it's just been so confusing. And plus the weather. Try to be, try to be mad. Anyway, uh, the Dolphins uh, played the Raiders, which was one of my uh, one of my teams. So I had to put a double down. Okay, unless it's a team that I don't like when I when I come back to this one. The Dolphins beat the Raiders uh, by the score of 20 to 13. Yeah. And can somebody explain to me? Okay. I'll say it again. Can somebody explain to me why the Detroit Lions are so good? Who did they be picking in the offseason ever since week one before week one started? Who have they been getting for them to get so damn good? Who is the Lions have? What is going on? Every time I see them, well, well, there have been a couple of weeks that they've been a little bit. But now, every time I turn around, they're winning. Even when the Chief Justice told me that they were winning. And uh, so the next victim was the Bears. Because that was my ride or die pick. And this is my only loss so far. By the score of 31 to 26, so I have about one, two, three. Yeah, I have about three wins and only one loss. Yeah, three to one so far this uh for week eleven. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Jaguars versus Titans. And one of these seasons I'm gonna write down the team name that I got that uh that the wins and stuff like that. I'm gonna go to get that one time once I get my mind cleared. Anyway, uh Jaguars versus the Titans. Now this is going to be a fourth win, so it's going to be four to one. Uh, Jaguars will be the winning end of the, the spectrum because they won by the score of thirty one, uh, thirty four long shot, thirty four fourteen long shot. Okay, and here comes my fifth win. So it's five to one. Uh, thank you to the Packers who beat the Chargers, but a low score in the fair. 23-20. Go figure. All right. Six win. Uh, but thanks to one of my, one of my official teams, uh, the Te- Houston Texans, 21-21 Blackjack, to the Cardinals, 16. I guess the Cardinals stayed at 15. <laughs> <laughs> Little blackjack joke. <laughs> the Cardinals stand at 16. <laughs> and the Texans got 21 blackjack. Anyway. Um anyway. Um Cowboys got revenge for the Lone Star State after the Panthers brutally, I mean brutally, it only took a field goal after they had to try it again one week. Uh, and on the fourth quarter, I still remember that that awful game, that that uh, terrible game. But uh, Cowboys got revenge. Thank you, Cowboys. Thirty three ten, and Cowboys win on that one. So that is my sixth. No, that's my seventh win. Yeah, six. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, because I only got one loss because that's the uh, the Bears Lions game. So I got one, two, three. Four, five, six. Okay, yeah, that's right. That now that's seven. And another team I'm gonna thank is thank you to the Giants. They stepped up to the plate. They beat the world's ridiculous, stupidest name in the history of the NFL, which is the Commander. The New York Giants stepped it up, came into the ring, fought the Commander, and won by the score of thirty-one to nineteen. And so that will be my seventh win. Here comes my eighth. Uh, the 49ers, this was a right or tie team. The 49ers beat, absolutely beat the Buccaneers by the score of 27 to 14. Okay. My ninth win, I believe. Yeah, my ninth win. It was the Battle of New York. Da, 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 da. And the winner of that battle goes to 
Chief Justice team, the Buffalo Bills. Final score, 32-6. to six. Wow, Bills was all over the Jets. The Jets wasn't even in the building. I mean, the Buffalo Bills must have scared the Jets off. Anyway. All right. Oh, heck of my second loss. So I think it was like 2-8, two, 2-8 eight, two, eight, I want to say. 2-8. Yeah, 2 8. Yeah, well, anyway, this is my second loss because I'm not, I, don't even, I don't think they deserve the name. I think they deserve the name Trader, but it was a one point affair anyway. Uh, the Seahawks got defeated by the Traders by the score of 17 to 16. And any of you know uh, OD citizens of Big D country who've been in their matches a long time know who the, the Traders uh, know that I'm talking about. Go ahead and let St. Louis without a team have to go all the way to Kansas City. And and then the Swift had to, uh, you know, yeah. But anyway, anywho, because now I don't no longer have to be jealous because I have a clean alert. So, there we go. All right. Now, the Broncos are finally creeping up on revenge. So, this is my... 11th win. Yeah, my 11th win. Uh, the Bronco versus the Viking by the score of 21 to 20, but not even, not even that close. It's uh, only one point, one point game. But a win is a win. No matter how ugly it is, it's a win. All right. Monday night game. Monday night action brings you the, uh, Eagles and uh, yeah, I was just talking about them. I was just talking about them. Oh wait a minute, maybe Taylor Swift wasn't there to see her boyfriend. Maybe that's why they lost because the Eagles got blocked. Yeah, twenty-one seventeen. And my favorite part of the joke: now the Chiefs had to stay on seventeen. <laughs> And had to end it right there with that uh, uh, blackjack yo. So that is your week twelve. No, week twelve. Week eleven long shot. That was your week eleven aftermath. I did week uh, twelve earlier, so that I could uh, find me more time because it's been so cold. Anyway, and no, I'm not talking about Stone Cold Steve Austin. And at the bottom line, cause Stone Cold said so, because that. Was the aftermath of week 11 of the NFL pickup on a big deep down? This is the home of the best citizen on the internet today, right here on the big deep down, deep in the heart of Texas. <laughs>